Hey, how's it going everybody? JP here. Today I'm back with another Lee Code Solution, this time to question 547, number of provinces. Uh, before I get started, if you guys want to support the channel, you guys can sub as well as like the video. Uh, it helps the channel quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got to say. And without further ado, let's move on to the question. All right, so in this question here, we're given an n by n matrix called is connected. And the goal here is to return the number of provinces. Now, the question might be, what is a province? A province is a group of cities that are directly or indirectly connected. So being directly connected is pretty self-explanatory. It can be traveled to one city from another, you know, on a single path, right? So, um, for example, or I guess in this case, uh, if is connected i j is equal to one, that means that we can go to um, to city j from i directly, right? There's like a path that we can just you know walk one path. That's it. Now to be indirectly connected, it's a little bit complicated. Let's say we start at at city i, right? So say we have at, we're at city i, and we want to get to city k, right? But in order to get to city K, we must go uh, through city J, okay? So that's what indirectly connected means, right? So we know that I and J are directly connected. J and K are directly, um, are directly connected, but J and K are not directly connected. They are indirectly connected because in order to get to K from I, we must first go to J, okay? So that's what indirectly connected means. Um, and then I guess in this case, right, this IJK, these groups or these cities uh, group up to make one province. So that's what it means for um, for a city or for a province to have, um, or not province, sorry, to be uh, for cities to be indirectly connected. Okay, so I'm just going to erase this real quick. <clears throat> and now we are going to... Um, we are going to walk through example number one. All right. All right. So let's walk through example number one. Example number one is pretty good because we're given a visual. So here we have three different cities, right? We have city one, two, and three. Uh, and we can clearly see that cities one and two are directly connected. And three just sits by itself, right? So uh, we have two provinces. So here I drew out the uh, the input as a matrix, and you know again we can see the same thing, right? From city number one, right, we can walk to city number two, and of course city number one is also connected to itself. If we go to city number two, right, city number two, we can see that from city number two we can walk back to city number one, and of course city number two is connected to itself. And then finally, we have the last city, city number three, which is not connected to any other city but itself. So here we can clearly see that we have two different provinces, right? So all these are uh, these two provinces. Um, so let's take it up. Let's uh, take it a step further and look at an example where there are cities that are indirectly connected. Okay, so here. We have four cities in total, right? So here we have cities uh, one, two, three, and four. And I'm just going to write it down here as well. So from city number one, we can connect to itself and we can go or we can walk to city number two. Uh, when we reach city number two, of course, we uh, can walk back to city number one. It's connected to itself. And we can walk to city number three. At city number three, we can go back to city number two. And of course, city number three is connected to itself. And finally, if we go to city number four, we uh, there's nothing that it's city number four is connected to except for itself. So I'll put this in red. So right here, we can see that city number one is actually connected to city number three indirectly, right? So we have city number one, right? Which is directly connected to city number two. Two is directly connected to city number th to city number one and city number three, 
right? Uh, and then city number four is just you know, by itself. So we can see here that uh, in this example, we have um, indirectly connected cities, right? So cities number one and three are indirectly connected, right? So I'm gonna draw that with like a, as a dashed line here. But yeah, you can see that uh, one and three are indirectly connected because if you wanted to go to city number three and we start at city number one, we, we first we first must go to city number two, right? So if you start at number one, we want to go to number three, we have to go to city number two and then city number three, right? Um, so that's why it's indirectly connected. So the thing here, the solution is as follows. We just need to keep on traveling to the cities, to the neighboring cities until we can't no more. And then once we, uh, once we reach that last city and we can't go any further, that we just count that as a province, right? So kind of think of it like this, right? So we can first start off, let's say at city number one, right? Starting at city number one, what we could do is we can see, can we travel to any other cities? Well, yeah, we can. We can travel to city number two. Okay, let's walk to city number two. So let's walk here to city number two, or let's say like this. Let's walk to city number two. And at city number two, let's see. We just came from city number one. Obviously, we're at city number two, but we can also travel to city number three. So let's walk to city number three. So let's walk, walk, walk to city number three. At city number three, we can either walk back to city number two, and of course we're at city number three currently, and that's basically it. We cannot go to city number four, so we cannot go any further. So therefore, this right here is one province, right? One, two, and three is our path um, in province number one. Now we go to city number four. City number four, you can see, is not connected to anything except for itself. And of course, because we're at the last city, we cannot go to any other cities. So this in itself is one province. So here we can take the approach of depth first search basically, and we can always keep track of which cities were, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we can keep track of which cities we have already visited. That way we don't revisit the same city and count that as a province. All right, so here we are on leak code. Let's code up the solution. So one thing I mentioned was that we need to keep track of all the cities that we have visited. That way we don't visit the same city twice. Uh, to do that, we're going to use something called a set, right? And then we're also gonna create a variable that, that counts the number of provinces. So provinces is equal zero. And to start off our DFS, we are going to append a city that hasn't been that hasn't been visited yet. Okay, um, and and to do this, we're going to use a stack, right? So keep in mind that I'm going to be writing DFS uh, iteratively. You can also use recursion uh, recursion to write DFS, um, and if you do, feel free to share it in the comments. Okay, so uh, to start off. I'm going to loop through all the cities. So if I, uh, so I'm gonna use a for loop here for I in range is connected. <clears throat> I'm gonna check, right? I'm gonna check, is city I in our set? Because if it hasn't, then that's gonna be our starting point for our DFS. So I'm gonna check if uh, city I is not in our set. So if it's not in our uh, set, if we haven't visited um, that city yet, then we're going to start our DFS by appending uh, that city to our stack. Uh, okay, so uh, is connected, sorry. Uh, connected I to our stack. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep on traveling to the city uh, through the cities as long as there's a path available, right? So. Um, while the stack is, while there's still stuff in our stack, 
meaning that if there's still cities that we can visit, we're going to keep visiting those cities. Okay, so city equals stack.pop. So we're going to pop the latest or the, uh, the last thing in our list. And then we're going to loop through that, right? So for j in range of our city, right? We're, so now here we're going to check is there a city that is directly connected to the city that we're currently on? And if there is, then we're going to visit that city and add that to our set. Okay. So we're going to say if city J, right? So if uh, we can, if we can visit that, um, if we can visit that city from our current city. So if that equals one and the city that we're visiting is not in our set, then let's append that to our stack, right? Is connected um, J, right? We want to add that city. And then we want to add that to our visited list or our, our visited set. So visited J. And then when the stack stops or when the while, loop, if the while loop stops, it means that we visited all the cities that are possible um, starting at city I. Right. And, and then that way, or once that terminates, we can increment our provinces. And then at the end of it, if we go, once we go through every single city and we perform a DFS, right, if it's possible, then all we have to do is now return our provinces. And then let's run the code. Let's see if that works. There you go. So we uh, passed the first example. Now let's see if we can um, pass all the test cases and there you go. So that's basically, um, yeah, that's basically the solution before I end here. I want to quickly talk about the, uh, runtime and space complexity. So here, our runtime is going to be big O of N, right? Because at most we are going to uh, travel through every single city, right? We have to travel. Uh, we're going to visit each city at least once. We're never going to visit a city more than once. So that's why it's big O of N. Our space complexity is also big O of N. Why? Because we need to keep track of all of the cities that are in our set, right? That are in our set or sorry. Yeah. Keep track of all the cities using our set. So it's big O of N as well. Okay, so that's about, uh, that's all. That's all I have for today. Uh, if you guys are um, are interested in more Leak Code solutions, feel free to support the channel by subbing as well as liking the video. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. All right, see ya.